So, I'm doing an additional cigarettes experiment. An additional 50, 50 cigarettes. After the 100 cigarettes experiment I did first, I went six weeks with no cigarettes. And then over, say, three weeks maybe, I had, on a few occasions, I had cigarettes with, when my friend was having some. Um, and now I wasn't planning to do another experiment, but I started, I bought a new pack when I was feeling depressed. And then I decided to keep going with 50 to do an additional experiment to see how addicted um, I might become if I'm using cigarettes as a crutch. Use it if you use cigarettes as a crutch for when you're feeling shitty and feeling depressed. Is that more likely to make you addicted? Or is it more likely to make you crave the cigarettes specifically when you feel shitty? So it's been uh, 11 days now, and this is my last cigarette out of the 50. I didn't, it just happened to be 11 days again. All my experiments seem to be 11 days. I was just smoking the 50 at whatever rate I felt like. And this time it's been... It's been... Um, I've been smoking them a lot slower. Since I sort of realized I realized a more effective way to use the cigarettes. Um, after I watched a, I watched a video about how drugs affect your your brain, the how it enacts the dopamine, and I think if you smoke more than one at once, it doesn't really do much. Just the first one within. I'm thinking around two hours really does much. After after that first one, the dopamine's already in your brain, and it takes a while for it to be released back. Um, well, it's confusing because it's always in your brain. It's either connected or not. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know the science. But it seems one cigarette about three, every three hours is more effective way to smoke them. So that's why I've been smoking half, half as much as the first time. And I ex my plan is to uh, go three weeks at least three weeks with no cigarettes <clears throat> after that well try to keep it only on occasion <laughs> only on uh, basically social if if even that Maybe not, even that. I believe I'll be able to do it again, but I said that last time. Maybe I'm kidding myself, who knows. But I'm looking forward, I just finished that last cigarette, and I'm looking, I've been sort of looking forward to uh, actually quitting the cigarettes because the health concerns keep getting in my head on a when I think about that, it makes me want to quit. But the, the subconscious temporary effect 
is what makes you addicted. So my subconscious is attracted to the cigarettes, but my conscious awareness does not want the cigarettes. Um, so... So it's been 11 days. I feel I've been in sort of a depressed state for this whole while. Uh, basically because... Uh, well, if you've ever been in love and had your heart broken, that's basically the reason. Uh, but I don't think it's the... It's not really the cigarettes which uh, m have gotten me through, that's just other things. I think the cigarettes are just temporary. That's only the uh, temporary effect you feel. So, I go through at least three weeks and then I'll probably be doing uh, another vaping experiment after that. I'm looking forward to vaping a lot more than cigarettes, because I say yet again, I notice all vaping's way more practical and way healthier. Uh, don't have to go outside in the cold. And you can do it wherever uh, vaping, and it's cheaper too. So next time I'm probably going to be doing uh, eight nick. Vape juice. And then I'll see how that compares. The So the last experiment I did was the three nick vape juice and <clears throat> that didn't seem addictive really at all. I think it was such a low amount of nicotine. It doesn't seem to do much. I'll see if eight nick does more. And we'll see how addicted I am. Uh, to these, to the cigarettes comparatively. I think just knowing the difference in the health and the practicality it would make make it a lot easier uh, not to be addicted to cigarettes. So. We'll see. I think I'll be in uh, nicotine withdrawal for the next two days if it's similar to last time, which I'm guessing it will be. So, uh, nicotine withdrawal sucks, but once I'm past that, should be better. Go three weeks. No vaping either for the three weeks because I want to avoid nicotine for the three weeks at least. <coughs> Just to test that I'm not addicted, at least temporarily. The long term, that's like a short term uh, test of addiction, really. Long term is very difficult to say, I mean, who knows. Have to see over long term. So, we'll see what I'm addicted to, how addictive it is.